follow-up video for the rusty gun or about the rusty gun a couple days ago I posted a video with a 16 gauge double barrel hammer gun made in Belgium that was badly rusted having sat in a closet for more than 60 years well the cleanup is I'm gonna say 95 percent finished and this is the finished product as you can see it cleaned up surprisingly well better than I had expected obviously we have pitting that's impossible to avoid with that level of rust Let's see if I can zoom in on that for you but it's not as bad as I had thought it might be it does not penetrate the bore enough barrel metal enough to affect its firing barrels are still solid they still ring like a bell there's no separation now that will clean up a little bit better with never dull which I have to resupply on thought I had some but I didn't and that'll smooth out a little bit and you can see some of the smaller details there now this is Belgium made 16 gauge Nicholas Piper Liège and of course I still have yet to finish cleaning the internals although they seem to be clean from what little I can see this has very very fine screws and as you can see they have never been out they are totally unbuggered and I intend to keep them that way so I need to get the proper screwdrivers none of my gunsmith screwdrivers fit that so I'll either make one or I will get some that'll come later on Fortunately, this, this gun did not suffer from internal rust, only external. The, the barrels inside, oops, got some cat hair on there. The barrels inside look beautiful, like brand new. Let me wipe that off so you can get a better look at it. I'm borrowing the cat's blanket. There we go. There's a backdrop here. I'm gonna focus in. You can see there's some staining to the blue but no penetration of the, the metal too deeply. No, we're, we're doing pretty good on that. Couple areas there. This was all rusted, it's all cleaned off nice. Stock is in excellent condition. No splits or anything like that, except for right here on the, the splinter four, and you can see it. That is actually repaired. It's hard to see, but there's ancient glue in that crack. So I'm going to have to clean that out, get in there and re-glue that. But it's not in danger of causing the, the failure of the forend. I mean, structurally, it's fine. It's just a little split right there on the edge. So I could actually fire this and not really worry about that for the moment. And it is absolutely rock solid. I have never really seen a double that was this solid. Then again, this is probably almost a brand new gun. I don't think it was really used that much. Ugh, so solid I can't even get it apart. All right, there we go. What? Well, listen to this now. And there's no wiggle there at all. None. The tightest one I've ever seen. Well, the internet suggested these were fairly high-end for a Belgian shotgun of its type. They were made in a known house. They weren't just mass produced for the hardware store market or anything like that. And it shows. Got some nice engravings on there. Wow, this blanket, I really should have cleaned it before I put the gun on it, I guess. Because it's actually still sticky with oil. Because I only cleaned it, finished cleaning it this morning. Now I have a mess of it again. Oh well. That's alright, it's only cat hair, it wipes off. But some of you wanted to see what it would look like when I got uh, nearly done with it anyway. And you can see right there. That was, this was the worst area. This section here was the absolute worst. That was heavy, crusty rust. If you look at the other video, you'll see it. And you can see that's now smooth metal. It's got some staining, but uh, that'll come out a little bit more with the never dull. And the pits are not nearly as deep as I had feared they might be. See, we have all kinds of nice proof marks under there. 
that were hard to see before, but a little bit more visible now. Some of the dirt's been cleared out. All this was rusted, but that's in good shape. Definitely going to be used. I just have to acquire some 16 gauge shells. Take it out on a range. Real nice little bird gun. And that'll do it for now. The Survivor. It's back among the living.